Thanks to the Brainerd Warriors. Tonight we take a look at the Little Falls Flyers. As the season opener approaches for high school football teams around the state, players and coaches begin focusing on having an even better year than last season. One such team, the Little Falls Flyers, are looking for more success and compete in a tough conference. Of course, Central Lakes Conference is always uh, extremely tough, and any I think week in and week out, any team can beat any team. But uh, I would, you know, going in, you know, Brainerd is always tough, and, and uh, they got a great program up there. Coach Tolsky does a great job, and uh, we're looking at we're thinking Sartell could challenge them possibly for the conference championship also. One way to be a successful football team is to have experience on your side, which Little Falls does. Yeah, we have all our juniors and senior, our juniors back that were uh, playing last year and uh, we have a great group of uh, juniors this year. So we're really excited. We got, we got uh, best numbers that we've had since I started here uh, four years ago. So we're excited, uh, great group of guys. The Flyers also have another key ingredient for success in their conference. And to compete here, you need good, great senior leadership. And, and we have that, or we feel we have that this year. And I think that's gonna make a huge difference in the, in, uh, the outcome of the season. Well, as the weekend approaches, as last Thursday. Tim Vetcher reports. When Mario Filippi talks, his teammates listen. That's because the Little Falls senior quarterback obviously knows what he's talking about. Blue Jet! After all, he's a three-year starter and the school's all-time passing leader. Every year since my sophomore year, junior year, now this is my final year. I'm, I'm reading defenses a lot better than my sophomore year and I'm taking advantage of you know, my three years experience and uh, we're going to put a lot of points up this year. He knows the system extremely well. He knows it as well as uh, as coaches do, and, and that's a big plus when he knows what's going on. And he has great leadership. Um, he has potential amount of t or tremendous amount of talent, you know, to uh, get the job done when he's out there. And uh, we're just fortunate to have him as quarterback. And this just might be the year Little Falls realizes how fortunate they really are. Last week against Fergus Falls, Filippi threw for three touchdowns and ran for another in the Flyers' 46-36 victory. I feel we can put up 46 around that range every time we go out, so I'm confident in our offense so we can move the ball. Actually, it makes it easier to catch the ball because he throws it so hard. So, I mean, I can't think, and it's just right there. I mean, you know, it hits me so fast that I just catch it and go. That's arm strength he developed on the baseball diamond. Likely Filippi's best sport in which he's a legitimate Division I prospect. But for now, Filippi is intently focused on his last year of high school football. I know I throw for about 20 touchdowns and throw for about 2,200, 2,300 yards. And, uh, you know, big key is uh, a lot of victories this year. That's, that's my main tour. I don't care if we run the ball 100 times a game. I want to get a victory. Victories that look to be plentiful for the Flyers in 1998, due in no small part to Mario Filippi, this week's KSAX Athlete of the Week. Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Alex.